My favorite Mystios returns. And with good news, too. My favorite kind. You did it, then? Of course I did. Sophanis' name is now on the citizen list. Perfect! I knew you were the right Mystios for the job. Now that you forged my friend's name on the citizens list, there's one more thing that needs to be done. Next time you want me to do two things, tell me both at the same time. The second is dependent on the first. I needed to know it was complete. I didn't expect you to get so upset about it. Just tell me what you need. Unfortunately, getting Sofani's name on the list doesn't make him a citizen. He also needs a witness who can validate his citizenship. So you want me to be the witness? If only it were that easy. No, there's someone I have in mind. An extremely handsome man by the name of Peros. I'll find your handsome witness. Perfect! I knew you'd be willing to help. There must be a good reason we can't be witnesses. Of course. The witness must be an Athenian citizen, but it can't be a friend. Be careful with Perus, though. It's easy to lose oneself in his gaze. If there is more after this, I want to know now. Of course. This should be the last thing. Should? I mean is. Time to find Perus. He's often around the Justice Building on the east side of the Agora. And I just ask him to help? Peros needs to say that the parents of Sofanis were both Athenian. How you get him to do it is up to you. The witness. There you are. That's the guy Alkibiad is called handsome. Can't say I agree with him. You tell Theon I'm not giving him any more. If he wants to talk to me, he can come himself. I'm not here about that. Well, uh, what do you want then? There's something I need your help with. Well, you'd actually be helping someone else. That someone sent you tells me it's something I'd be better off avoiding. You just need to validate a man's citizenship. Alkibiadis said it's an easy role for you to play. Ah, Alkibiadis. He is persistent. And who is this man I meant to help? His name is Sophanis. Sophanis? I know that name well. I won't help you though, not for him. 
I don't know him. Why don't you want to help? A true Mystios never get all the information up front. Sophanis betrayed his men for Drachmi. He deserves death, not citizenship. Ah, look, it isn't your fault. You didn't know, but now you do. Sounds like Vion may be sending someone to collect from you. Wouldn't it be nice to have the Drachmi you need? Ah, uh, fine. I'll do what you want. Better stay hidden. Who is that? Socrates too, it seems. Much like you, he just can't seem to stay away. I hope there were no issues. Yes, he just needed a little push. Ah, I was worried about that. Well, you did the right thing. You kept information from me. Information that would have been nice to know. I believe people like Sofanis deserve second chances. I didn't think what he did mattered to you. Next time, let me decide what matters to me. Understood. I should give Sofanis the news. Do not bad citizens do harm to their neighbors and good citizens good? Is it possible to tell if someone will be good or bad without first giving them a chance? Person isn't the same forever. Someone bad can become good. But is the inverse not also true? Someone considered good can then become bad? How can we predict someone's actions now, let alone in the future? We can't. One thing I've learned is people are unpredictable. It's what makes my job so hard sometimes. If what you say is true, we can either hope we are right and that people will be good, or limit risk by not giving people like Sofanis a chance. I wonder, then, if bad actions can reverse good, or good actions can reverse bad. Perhaps we can speak on that another time. Thank the gods. Welcome, Mistias. Good day. 
that impression the lapdog. I wonder how many scraps Hermipos has received from Cleon's table. Hermipos has gone too far, Socrates. Pericles gave everything to Athens. Yet, we must still hear of Cleon's greatness. Aristophanes, have you not done seemly things to Hermipos? How dare you compare me to that man? His plays are a nuisance. Something I could come up with in an afternoon, and a drunken one at that. Mine are for a clever audience. The same audience you judge. Should it not be clever enough? Careful, Socrates. Else I make you a character in one of my plays. Do you agree with Socrates that Hermipos should say what he wants? This may be the first time I've seen Socrates listen more than he speaks. Remember it well. You may not see it ever again. I prefer to think before I speak. And now, having thought, I shall. Tell me. Just as I am allowed to say what I wish, should not all be allowed to do the same? Of course not. And there's much you've said that I'd say you shouldn't have, Socrates. What if I say offense one, but is loved by another? Should I say nothing in fear of what people may think? That would be nice, yes. If you have such an issue with Hermipos, why not do something about it yourself? I'd like to, but I haven't been able to find him. Maybe you'd have better luck. It can't be that hard to find Hermipos. That's what I thought as well. Maybe he's afraid I'll find him. Once Hermipos is in front of you, what are you going to say? I'm not entirely sure yet, but I promise you it will be a grand spectacle. It almost sounds like you're jealous of Hermipos. Ha! Huh. Me? Envious of him? Making someone sad is easy, but making someone laugh takes true skill and talent. Wherever Hermipos is, I'll find him. I hope you do. His residence would be a good place to start. Yeah, 
Doesn't look like Hermipus is here. I should take a look around. from the cult of Cosmos. Hermipos must be a member. This is a lot of money for someone like Hermipos. Explains his residence, at least. Like Cleon made notes for Hermipos on his play. Everyone's a writer. Τι 
κρατεά Αθηνά. Επί τα ψηλεύω What is it? I couldn't find Hermippos, but I did find out something about him. He's a member of the cult of Cosmos. Then it's no wonder he attached himself so closely to Cleon. Discrediting Pericles and his beliefs in Athens would benefit Hermippos and the cult, I'd imagine. Hermippos is definitely a problem. Do you still believe he should say what he wants, Socrates? I know not what I think, nor what I know. Ah. <sighs> Yes, you deserve a play of your own. What is a leader if he hides behind the walls he built himself? Send me fire, storm, or sickness, but bring me justice for my city. This area will be well defended.
You won't be making trouble anymore. Who's there? Pots. Pots. And more pots. Let's see. 
τραγωδία κινείται μεταξύ τριών βαθμίδων. Έλα, 